building a lab to uh, set up VPNs on sub interfaces and so on, a lot of stuff to do Palo Alto. Now, of course, as you, the smart eyed amongst you will see, this is a checkpoint. Now, in an ideal world, you would have uh, all Paolo's. It's not how this is going to go down. But Really, if I was going to be completely sort of vendor agnostic, in an ideal world, you would have the same vendor either side of a VPN because it makes configuration a whole lot easier. I mean, say for instance, with Checkpoint, um, the whole multi uh, entry points and everything worked perfectly between the two Checkpoints, whereas you can't strike that up with another, another firewall vendor. So... <laughs> A quick, a quick bit of uh, background on this is the fact that I did actually try to get PFSense up and running. I just don't understand why people use that. It's absolutely pointless. But I figured one of my most popular videos, which is the only one on the channel so far until this one came on, um, was Checkpoint. So um, I will keep my opinions about Checkpoint to myself and, uh, and we'll crack on because it is arguably the... Um, the main contender with Palo Alto, I guess, although Palo's, as far as I'm concerned, are far superior. So to set up the the VPN test, we're going to do, uh, we're going to use R8040, I believe this is. Um, and I just thought I'd run through some of the, the, the quick setup stuff. Once you've got Gaia built and everything like that, frankly, if you need a video to work out how to build Gaia, you're in a, a lot more trouble than I can help you with. So before we can, if we uh, pull this up here. So before we can start to build our, our firewall, which is here, we're going to need, if we have a look, we can see that there's, there's no interfaces, basically. So we get interfaces with topology. Then the only interface we've got is ETH0, which is the one I'm managing it through because I haven't built any others now for the uninitiated amongst you. There's the Gaia portal, which is the underlying operating system, and then there's checkpoint software on top, which is uh, the firewalling. So if we just come back to here, we can see. So I'm going to edit this one, and you can see I've got link status up, uh, enable, and I'm going to put that this particular interface leads to my home LAN, because that is all good. Okay, IPv6. Do people use IPv6? Well, I honestly don't know. I very much doubt it. Um, it is gaining some traction, but I think the, the complications around it stop it being um, adopted on a wide scale. Okay, so that's okay. So that's fine with that. Okay, now we can see that ETH1 and ETH2 are currently down. That's because they're not enabled, so we're going to enable it. ETH1 is specifically going to be the LAN interface, and that is going to have an IP address of 216, and we're going to go for... We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that at all. One, and that's going to be a slash 24. Okay, and now we know that's up, and then we're going to go with this one, and this one is going to be our, so to give you a bit of background, so basically we're going to have um, the Palo Alto at the front, and then all this is in VMware, as you can quite clearly see in the top left hand corner, and we're going to, or I'm going to, build a VPN tunnel between um, the Palo and the Checkpoint. In order to, um, in order to, yeah, to, to create a VPN between the two, I've absolutely got no other reason for doing it other than to do it. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, so this isn't actually going to be like a WAN interface or an internet leading interface, um, because the internet leading interface, of course, is the home LAN one. So this is going to be the VPN transit interface, and I believe. The 
choice for this was uh, 172, 16, um, yeah, should we go for one? I'm sure that conflicts somewhere. So I'm going to go for 201 because I know for a fact that that doesn't conflict anywhere. Um, yes, I am doing this on the fly. 255, 255, 255, and then 252 for a slash 30. Okay, now all is well, and that's all up and running. So now if I go back to this, double click on my object, uh, my gateway, sorry. And now if you get interfaces uh, with topology, which means it will write down spoofing settings based on the topology of the interfaces. Now I've got all of them. As you can see, I've got my ETH0, ETH1, ETH2. So that's all good. Okay, so now I can go and we can do our, our anti-spoofing here. So we modify it and go internet, external, um, so on. But I'm not going to do that at the minute. Okay, this one will be based on uh, this network internal. It's fine. And then our transit. Uh, this network internal fine. Yeah. Okay. So just just reminding myself of the default settings there. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to okay. So you can just. Uh, keys. Now, what I should have done there, but I didn't do, is I also need to enable IPsec VPN because I'm going to be using VPN. Okay, and I need to create a security policy. So we have one policy already, which is the standard policy, which contains the any any drop, the cleanup rule. I'm not going to go into rules here, but if we wanted to add a policy, we can manage policies, uh, manage policies and layers. Policies, it's this one, new policy. So now we can create a new policy. So we're going to have our lab policy. Don't know why I've done that. Uh, this is our blades, uh, access control, threat prevention, so on and so forth. And then for our installation target, so that we can have install on target, we are going to select a specific gateway, which is going to be our checkpoint VPN gateway. Give it a minute to think about it. Okay. And that one. All gateways, yeah, okay. So in our lab policy, we are going to have, um, we're going to need to have a allow rule. Uh, have I just done that? Let me check that. Uh, so if I go back into here, and that. Yep, so once high door, this is that way. That's done right. Okay, and then we are going to allow, drop that a second. We need to allow our policy, a new rule, a uh, new section title above, which is going to be our management rules. And then we want to put a, a rule below. Just quickly set this up here. Not that it makes any difference because I've only got the 15 day trial anyway. But it does help. Okay, so this rule now, so I want our management. I'm going to create. So I'm going to create a new uh, network. Which is going to be my 
in slash home net. That is 192.168.0.0.255.255.255.0. Okay, that's going to be our home net. And then the destination is the gateway. I'm going to allow any traffic because I can't be asked to do anything else. Except, and I'm going to log it. Okay, so I can now get to my checkpoint VPN um, object, but any other um, any other traffic is is not allowed. Okay, so let me publish it because, of course, now we've got the the um, concept of multi administrators on one box. So you create your settings locally, and then um, you publish it, and then those those um, changes that you've made, and then get published the policy that everybody else can see, and then indeed the policy that's going to get pushed, and we're going to push the lab policy, and the targets are our checkpoint VPN. I'm going to install it, and I'm hoping it's going to install OK. OK, and if we want to have a just quick check there, we can just check on the details. And we can see that it's a installed OK. Now, just as a quick aside note, I'm not going to add any of these, I don't think, although maybe I might do in the future. Um, if we were to go into here and add these, for the ones that the subscriptions and things like this, you would then see a warning and say that, well, there's no subscription attached to it or there's an issue with this blade. Um, because I'm not licensing it, I'm just using the uh, the trial license, the demo license, so to speak. Um, that that would be the case. So it's not, uh, you know, we, we don't need to worry about it too much. Right, so, so that's it. So it's actually a quick overview of R80 as well. Um, but I'm going to stick this video up as a part one, and then we will look at, uh, at part two later, and we will build the VPNs between the two.